FoxCarolina.com. We're doing a get out to Margaret Burnquist. She's been outside all afternoon talking with folks that yeah. knew him personally. And Margaret has had some great interviews for us the last couple of hours. I know you spoke to um, a former coach uh, from back in the 60s, Margaret. He had some really great stories to share about radio. He was there when the nickname was established. He and, and his other coaches would say, hey, radio, throw that ball back over the fence. Hey, guy with radio, and it took off from there. He travels the world and people say, you're from Anderson, you must know radio. Meanwhile, as we're just standing here, a family getting ready to walk in right now. I haven't talked to them yet. I just flagged them down for a live shot, but uh, please tell me your name and, and where you're from and why you wanted to come in. Uh, my name's Andy Harris, and this is my family. And uh, we drove up from Baseburg, Leesville, uh, South Carolina. I actually used to coach here at T.L. Hanna. Uh, we, we spent three years with radio, um, and uh, he's just a very special part of our lives. And you know, he was the heart and soul of the area here. And uh, and he had nicknames for some of us, and it's, we just have a lot of good memories. Uh, wanted to come and pay our respects uh, because um, just the time that he, the way that he treated us here, he loved us, and we loved him. So. What was his nickname for you? Uh, Wethead, and he called my wife uh, Tim. So. The, the way he endeared himself to the community made everyone just sort of adopt him. You know, I talked to a lunch lady who fed him every day, the nurse who took care of his health. Like, he just made himself somebody that everyone wanted to have in their lives. Yes, yes, ma'am. He uh, he always had a smile on, on his face, and he, he loved T.O. Hannah, and he was always as supportive as he could be. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, his attitude could uh, brighten your day when things weren't going so well, whether it was football or track. Yeah. I'm... When you heard of his passing, what went through your mind? Uh, we, we were very saddened. Um, you know, we had, we had hoped to get up here and visit with him some this year, but with me coaching, it wasn't the easiest thing to do. Um, we, we really just thought about how, uh, what would T.O. Hannon and Anderson be like, you know, without radio. Uh, and not just the impact he made here, but all over the, the country and, and then uh, wherever he traveled, you know, people would know um, and, and find out about radio. And, and I actually showed the movie to some of my students uh, back home just so they could have an experience of it for those who hadn't seen it yet. Wonderful. I appreciate it. It's certainly a message of love, and, and that love is what people talk about over and over. He loved everyone, and as you can see here tonight, everyone loved him right back. Cody, Tori. Margaret, thanks so much. And we do have continuing team coverage right now in Anderson, as we do remember radio. At Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer joins us uh, live tonight outside of T.L. Hanna High School, where I know a lot of people are continuing to come out and visit radio's body tonight. Yeah, Tori, so many people in this community are here, you know, thousands expected over today and tomorrow um, just to pay their final respects, say their final goodbyes. And just talking to some people out here, we're learning just so many good, great things about radio. We already have known the impact he's made on this community, but just hearing those stories personally is it's great to hear the impact he's made. And someone who knew him, um, Danielle, you went to T.L. Hannah High School and you graduated um, in 2010. And just kind of tell me about seeing radio in the hallways and what he meant um, to, to you in this community? Well, he definitely was uh, a big, big part of Hannah. Um, he definitely, I feel like, held the heart for Hannah. Everybody knew him. Um, when you see him in the hallways, he's always checking and saying, hey, um, making sure everybody has their IDs because it was required. Um, and he just always was happy. Um, if you see radio and you're having a bad day, I'm pretty sure you'll be feeling good because he was just always smiling, just good energy. Everybody really did love him around here. And you mentioned his smile. Everybody, you know, says that he had a million dollar smile. He was always smiling. Tell me a little bit more about that smile. Yeah, he was definitely always smiling around here. Um, you know, I've never seen him upset and it's just good to see someone always happy like that because um, it just gives good spirits to everybody no matter what's going on. And it's just awesome to see so many people come out and, you know, that he really impacted everybody, even if they didn't have like personal connections with him you still know about radio all right thanks so much for sharing a little bit about him you're welcome and there's still a line inside a, a lot of a good bit of people inside just waiting to see um radios uh, say their final respects their final goodbyes and if you would like to visit um, the visitation is until eight o'clock tonight here at teal hannah high school live in anderson county brooklyn crover fox carolina news